basically my message is, is that everybody's really experienced loss. People look at Omar Beth. She is the transformation through loss expert. That's just for people who have lost a loved one, whether it's, you know, for somebody who's died, but that that's part of it. But it's really so much broader than that. It's any the loss of any kind of relationship. It's because we we grieve, you know, we may not take it as seriously, but truthfully we do need to treat ourselves with so much love and so much respect and and really honor all the the trauma that, that occurs in our lives and, and really creates loss. So aging is is something that people experience the loss of their youth, mm-hmm. the loss of their old identity. And that certainly brings up a lot of issues, and I'm sure that there's grieving that a lot of people experience around that, or the loss of finances, you know. People lose a job that that was their identity for so many years. They retire, or they, they lost the job, and, and then who are they? You know, they've lost their identity, and, and there's a grieving that goes along with that. And if people repress this uh, this loss, this grief, and and they don't deal with it, then it can create all kinds of symptoms in their lives. Uh, there's the loss of your self-respect, your trust, your personal power, all of these things I call hidden losses. So basically when you when you think about it, everybody's experienced loss. Right. And and if you haven't dealt with it, it can fester and create all types of physical symptoms. You could uh, lose your sleep. You could gain or lose weight, lose your appetite. The hair can start to fall out. Your blood pressure can go up. Those are just some of the symptoms that people experience after a loss. Um, and then um, there's emotional um, factors and spiritual factors and emotional factors. If you have lost a sweetheart, for example, maybe you felt like you were betrayed and there were other issues that came up regarding that and you really haven't looked at that and you haven't dealt with it, then you're going to be creating maybe you'll be creating a, a similar situation for yourself or B, maybe you'll be afraid to risk putting yourself into another relationship again. So there are all different types of ways that loss can affect us if you don't deal with it. Because all of these losses that we experience are really blessings. And I, I know this, um, this uh, Valentine's Day next Tuesday is going to be three years since I lost my sweetheart to a heart attack. And... Talk about traumatic losses. It was huge. But it was really such an incredible blessing on so many levels. Uh, I was able to use my background in, in energy and consciousness shifting modalities to release the emotions that I was feeling. And, and through the process, I realized that here I had a gift that I could share with other women who were going through loss. And, you know, coupled with all of the other losses that I've had in my life, I've had a lot of experience with it. But every one of them has been a gift. You know, I still have the memories. I still have the love that we shared. And, you know, and occasionally I'll feel his his, uh, spiritual presence, you know, hovering around. But, But basically... I don't experience the the heavy emotions that came with with the initial um, trauma and the grief, and you know, and what a blessing that is, you know, what a blessing to be able to go on with my life, but just have these special memories and 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 to be able to help other women because of that, and and so I really feel very blessed that you know that. Um, I had the experience because just I just grew so much because of it. And I mean, it's nothing that I would have chosen. I don't think any of the losses I experienced have been things that I would want to choose 
but I'm not going to wallow in my grief. And I made that decision initially. I'm not going to wallow in this. I'm going to use this as something wonderful. You know, I'm going to look for for the silver lining in every cloud, every dark, thunder thunderous cloud that appears in my life. And I'm going to to use it for my personal growth and to to be able to share that with others. So. Yeah, that, that was a huge experience, but really, on so many levels, it was a blessing.